So next week I plan on doing a three-part video study on three different topics, the law, works, and the dangers of associating legalism to the Christian faith. And why is this important? It's important because those who hold a legalistic position often fail to see the real purpose behind the Old Testament law of Moses. So I wanted to go ahead and share a clip with you guys of Vody Balkum talking about a story that happened to him while he visited, while he was visiting Israel, basically detailing the absurd nature of law keeping in Israel. Which is where you get legalism from. I don't know if I've told you this before, but even if I did, it's worth telling again. But I've been in Israel a number of times, and one of the things that, that, that strikes me uh, often there is the bondage of legalism. And nothing, nothing brought that home to me more than one day when I got on the wrong elevator on the Sabbath. Shabbat is very important in Israel. It's huge. It's everything. I mean, it's, it's so important that if you go into a restaurant, there are two sets of dishes. There's one set of dishes for all the other days of the week and one set of dishes for the Sabbath. You don't even use the same dishes. Okay? And, and, and on the Sabbath, there's, what's, there's the Shabbat elevator. Shabbat is Sabbath in Hebrew. There's the Shabbat elevator. And one day I got on the Shabbat elevator in my hotel. Didn't realize it. And what happens in the Shabbat elevator is the elevator opens on every floor. So here I am waiting to get up to my floor. But at every floor, he had to stop, doors open, doors close. Next floor, stop, doors open, doors close. Next floor, stop, doors open, doors close. Until you get off the elevator and learn your lesson. Don't get on the Shabbat elevator anymore. The reason you get on it is because it's the one sitting down there with his doors all the way already open. But why? Why does the Shabbat elevator open its doors on every floor? So that observant Jews don't have to do the work of pushing the button. That is the heart of legalism. You can ride the elevator. Just don't push the button. That's the answer of someone who says that, that, that the way you deal with sin is with not sin. The, the way you deal with, with breaking the law is with keeping the law. That's a person who does not understand the essence of what it means to break the law. And Jesus deals with this in the Sermon on the Mount. You've heard it said, don't murder. And you think you're not a murderer because you've never taken someone's life. But I say to you, if you hate your brother, you've broken that commandment. You've heard it said, don't commit adultery, and you think you're not an adulterer because you've never actually engaged in and in, 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 in physically consummated a relationship with a person who's not your spouse. But I say to you, if you've looked at someone and lusted after them, you violated that commandment. Jesus makes it clear that we break the law in our hearts first and that breaking the law in our hearts is enough to make us guilty.